it is Thursday and oh, I just realized that there's branches down. Anyway, it's Thursday. Uh, it's two days after the big nor'easter that came in and messed everything up for everybody. So yeah, last night me and Kyle kind of just like waited the snow out. We went to go shovel and the snow was so heavy. I guess from all of the rain mixing in with the snow, it just made the snow extremely heavy. So we went in, we shoveled his car, my car, and in the complex that we live in, you can shovel out to a certain point just because there's like maintenance guys that'll come through with a plow and then they'll just plow the rest away. Well, we were wrong about that. So we got up this morning to just basically move the cars out because Kyle had to go to work and I wanted to move my car to where he was parked and we realized the snow plow never came back to plow the rest of the snow in front of our cars. So that was a mission because it was rock hard by the time we got outside. So we had to like find a real metal shovel and like ice pick it. Oh my God, it was terrible. So we spent like another two hours shoveling this morning. So now that he's gone, he went to work. I had to film videos, so I just did two videos. Um, so that's why I'm all glam, you know? My makeup is actually kind of like crazy because I did the five minute makeup challenge. I'll link it below if you guys wanna see it. Um, and then I tried to fix it afterwards because I was a terrible disappointment at that challenge. Um, but I tried to fix my makeup for the second video that I had to film and it was just like, whatever. This is what we came up with. Um, not that I'm running out of ideas or anything, but it would help me if you guys would tell me more things that you guys want to see on my channel. I know I'm still going to get the apartment tour done. Promise you that. I am going to film a video. I was thinking about filming a video about decompressing, like when I come home, what I do as far as that and like relaxation stuff that I do. So let me know if you guys want to see that because I will definitely put that video up for you guys. Um, but yeah, anyway, let me know some ideas because it really helps me out. It gives me even more inspiration to do different type of stuff on my channel. And I'm just like really in a funk right now. I think that's what it is because of like my crazy schedule and stuff. I'm just so like not wanting to do anything because I feel like we're about to get deep for a second. When it comes down to YouTube, I don't want to throw YouTube to the side. Sometimes when it comes down to making videos, it's like, I don't want to do my makeup for a video or I don't know, I'm just like in this funk where I don't know what to film or whatever. So it's been difficult. So I'm trying to get it together so that I can feel like I'm successful at my channel. Like even though like a lot of people, I guess they define their success by like, I have millions of subscribers and yeah, that's really successful. I hope to get there one day. However, me, for me, being successful at my channel is putting up content consistently and just enjoy doing what I'm doing. So um, I haven't felt like that in a little while, to be honest. So hopefully that'll change. <sighs> I've talked for like seven and a half minutes. I don't know if I'm even gonna keep half of this in there. But anyway, so let me get into editing these videos and let's see what else I'm gonna do today. I don't know. We're currently in Peco dreaming of puppies. She's dreaming of puppies. They're so cute. heartbroken because we're not leaving with a puppy <laughs> we have to wait we can't get one right away anyway but they are so cute and now I love fish too I wonder if I should get another fish probably not
There's puppies everywhere. I actually didn't realize how many puppies are in Petco when you go in there. Because every time I go into Petco, there's only like three being groomed and that's it. But this one had a lot. Well, they were having a class. Oh my God. And now she wants every puppy in the world. I want a puppy, but we have to still go on our honeymoon and all of that. Stop lying to yourself. But you know what? When we have a puppy, <laughs> we're still going to travel. Like, so we'll have to figure it out. But I don't know. Maybe in one year, we'll get a puppy. I don't know. We have to figure out what we want, I if guess. If I can right? survive till then. The disrespect is real. <laughs> we got to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Will somebody please save me from this man? <laughs> Leave me alone in my childhood dreams, okay? Please show them what you just made. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Back up. If you haven't done this before, I'm about to school you on some homemade fun. Everybody knows that I'm a big geek. I'm big and I'm a geek. So therefore, I'm a big geek. And being a big geek, what I personally love to do is make lightsabers. Now, all you need oh my God, no. is a wrapping paper roll and a paper towel roll. Okay? And for the wrapping paper roll and paper towel roll, it's gonna fit in like this. But as you notice, it's very wobbly. We don't want that. So what I started to do before I was so rudely interrupted was I started to cut along the seam here. She's gonna time lapse this. So, so I'm cutting it slow, but in the actual video, it'll be a lot faster. So now you can see if we can pull it tight, we can loosen it up. However way we want to do it. So now that I got my handle, I want to measure with my fist. Okay. I'm mad this is really turning into a tutorial. Oh, you've never done this before? No. Is this the first time you've ever done this? No. I used to do this I, I all the time that. when I was a little kid. Me and my brother we used to beat the hell out of each other a little. Oh my God. Shout out to Brett. Uh, okay, so now once you have your length appropriate, what you want to do is mark it. And then you want to make a nice even cut. I don't understand how, why would you just leave, isn't it just the same size as like the other thing now? Lightsaber is a beam of light. Obviously in today's day and age we don't have the technology. What's your yes, phone? We, we don't have the technology to actually make one of those. Where is your phone? Why? Cause I need, I need it. Or? Cause I'm gonna show you how to make a real lightsaber. Oh my God. Now attach your phone to the bottom. That shit's a real Jesus thing. Jesus Christ. Ruined it. Put that baby on. And then you shine it through the bottom. And that's real lightsaber. Ladies and gentlemen. Here, hold this. Epic fails. No, put it on. Yeah, look at that. Shining, oh shining, shining. <laughs> no. The disrespect. <laughs> the disrespect continues. We're trying to channel Bob Ross right now. <laughs> Did you get it to work or no? No. Apparently, Bob Ross hasn't been on since like 1994, so there's like very hard streams. Has he really? For. Yeah. Well, one day I well I don't know what we were talking about. Um, the but, fact that I never seen Bob Ross and it was yeah, on but I don't know how we brought it up. Oh, because I guess we came across it on Netflix. Um, but I mentioned to him I was like, oh, like oh, do you want to watch Bob Ross or something like that? And he had no idea who Bob Ross was. Uh, and I was shocked because I I don't know I guess like maybe a lot of people don't know who he is, but. As a kid, growing up, I used to paint a lot. Like, my mom actually has a picture of me painting on an easel that she had for me. Um, and I used to paint a lot. I don't even know if I have any of my old paintings. But anyway, so I used to, like, watch Bob Ross and stuff. So I couldn't believe he didn't know who he was. So, uh, yeah, we started watching him. Like, I just showed him one video to be like, okay, you need to know who this man is because he's, like, the best painter alive. And now we're kind of like obsessed with him. He's all right. <laughs> He's freaking amazing. One stroke, and you have mountains, water, trees. <laughs> Craziness. No, he's really good. He's really good, though. I don't know why I find it so relaxing to watch him. He, I think it's the way he talks. 
a little bit of titanium white. <laughs> Liquid white. And a little bit of this. And this is a little fun thing I like to do right here. <laughs> I so. think the best part, too, is like when he <laughs> slaps the brush and then he laughs. Or like he'll, um, hey. he says, oh, sometimes you have to talk to yourself. Sometimes you might have to be a little crazy. But that's okay. <laughs> it's my favorite. I don't know if this vlog is long or not. I hope Probably. it's a, I hope it's at least eight minutes. <laughs> All I know is Bob Ross is the man. He is the man. Here, test number two. Go ahead, close up my video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like, please comment, like, and subscribe, and ring the bell for more content like this. And I don't there. say that. <laughs> I don't care if you say it. That's how you should say it because I'm the man. That's what happened. That's what happened. Kiss your finger on my face before I break. <laughs> Ah, you took it. Look at this. What am I going to do with this nub? Nub. <laughs> I'm too tired for this. It's like 12 o'clock at night. It's nub. Nub. Thank you guys. Give my nub some love. So much for watching. Love my nub. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Love my nub. My nub needs love. Love it. Help me. Love it. Help. <laughs>